Assalamu alaikum students. I am your math teacher from IYS schools. Hope you all feel safe at home. Today we start our education by online teaching. Shall we start? But before starting the lecture, I will give you some instructions. Hopefully you all understand. Number one is, don't raise hand during lesson. Number two, ask questions at the end of the lesson. Number three, use hand free if you are using mobile and headphone for computer use. Number four, feed your ID and password properly with your name and class. Number five, take care of time for attending the class. Number six, Home task should be done in your fair copy of the subject. Number seven, if there is any disconnectivity during the lesson, try to join again within five to ten minutes. Number eight, don't turn on your video during lesson. And number nine is, if you have any question, then ask in chat box. Hope you all understand. Uh, do you all hear my voice? If you all hear my voice clearly, then reply yes in chat box. Students, if you all hear my voice clearly, then reply yes in chat box. Then we will start our lecture. Okay. So, hope you all understand all the instructions. Now we are going to start our le lesson, which is chapter number 2, Addition and Subtraction from your textbook at page number 10. Open your books, okay, and look at here on your screens. So, the topics of today's lecture or lesson are, number one, addition up to six to seven digit numbers, and number two is subtraction up to six to seven digit numbers, okay. Uh, hope you all know very well about addition and subtraction that how to add and how to subtract in your previous classes. So we are starting from here. Book page number 10. Open your books also page number 10. Okay. Addition of 6 and 7 digit numbers. In previous les les uh, lesson, notation and numeration. You learn about how to read six or seven digit numbers. So here is example number one that I shared on your screen. Example number one. Add. What's the number here? Five, six, seven to three eighty five. Fifty six. Fifty six lakhs seventy two thousand three hundred and eighty five. Twenty four lakhs. 3,679. You know very well that this num these numbers are placed in the form of Pakistani way that you already learned in previous chapter. So, how you identify that is Pakistani way? First three digits, then two, then two. These numbers are present in Pakistani form. So, in Pakistani form, six, uh, yeah, six or seven digit number read as six as legs and seven read as ten legs. Okay, this is just for your review. So, in addition, the two numbers that add in each other are called addendum. What? The two numbers that add in each other are called addendum. And after that, the answer that will become after ad adding these two numbers is called sum. Here you see, addendum means the quantity or number to be added. So, here what I told you? The, num the two numbers that are added in each other are called addendums and the, uh, and the answer that comes after adding these two numbers is called sum. So here addendum means a quantity or number to be added. Plural of addendum is addenda. The example above has two addenda, so plural of addendum is addenda here. So how many addenda are given here? Two. One addenda is this and another addenda is this. Okay, sum here means total number when two or more addenda are added together. So I already tell you that when you add two addenda or two addenda or to, uh, add in each other, then the answer that comes after adding these two addendums are called sums. Okay.
okay so this is your thumb and these two wire and then uh, so starting from here always start adding or subtracting from right in addition you all uh, uh, so 5 plus 9 is equal to 14 so over here and carry in the next number in, or in tens place then 8 plus 7 is equal to 16 so 6 here and 1 at the place of 100 in addition you will pass carry on next numbers or next digits so 6 plus 3 is equal to 10 plus uh, 6 plus 3 is equal to 9 and when you add the carry that comes from here then it will become 10 so 0 here and 1 in the place of 1000 in the place of 1000 what did we here 2 and 3 so when we add 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 and then we add one more carry in it that it will become 6. Now comes to the next that is in the place of 10,000, 7 plus 0, obviously 7, then put comma, 6 plus 4, that in the place 6 is the place of legs, here the 6 digit read as legs, so 6 plus 4, 10, 0 here and 1 shift here. So 5 plus 2, 7. And when we add 1 more in 7, it will become 8. So your sum is 80 lakhs, 76,064. Hope you all know very well that what is addendum and what are, what is sum. Here, we are moving example number 2. Find the sum of addenda. Same. The, uh, here, uh, how many addendas are given here? 1, 2, 3. 3 addendas are given here. So, Starting from the right side, 9 plus 7 plus 2, 9 plus 7 plus 2, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 9 plus 7 is equal to 16, then add 2 more, and 16 will become 18. So here, 1 will shift at the place of 10, okay. So first of all, tell me that in which way, in, or in which period this number is, these numbers are given. In Pakistani or international? In international way because in international you group digits in 3, 3, 3. Okay, so, so this these numbers are given in international period or international way. So here, yeah. 9 plus 7 plus 2 is equal to 18. 8, 8 is written here and 1 shift uh, at the place of 10s. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. 8 plus 3, 11 plus 1, 12. So sh here 12 shift. At thousand place, so two written here and one shift at thousand place. So eight plus five, thirteen plus six, twenty. So here zero and two comes a two shift at the place of ten thousand. Seven plus nine, sixteen plus two, eighteen. Eight here and one shift at the place of legs. Okay. So five plus two, seven and one, eight. 8, 8, 0, and 2, 6, 8. Now, comes to the next. 3 plus 1, 4, and 1, 5. So, uh, how it read is? Uh, five, 5, 8, 8, 0, and 2, 6, 8. So, 5 read as 5, 100,000, 5,000,000, 88, 88, 5,880,268. How many rentas are adding here? Three rentas, and the sum here is that 5,880,268. So Another example is given here that is find the sum of 669702154789 and 113456 as you already learned in previous examples. So here how many addendums or addendums are given? Three addendums. Okay. So Starting from here, 9 plus 5, 14 plus 2, 16. Here, one, uh, one is not sh uh, showing here, but here, uh, uh, 6 written here, and 1 is shift in the place of 10s. 8 plus 6, 
14 plus 1. Here 1 carry is not given, but you know that 1 is given here. So 8 plus 6, 15. 7 plus 7, 14. And plus 4. 7 plus 7, 14 plus 4, 18. And here a carry of 1 is given here. The carry of 1. Because here what's the answer here? 15. So 5 written here. 1 is given here. 7 plus 7, 14. 18 plus 1, 19. 19 written here and 1 comes here. So 9 plus 4, 13 plus 3, 14, 15, 16 and carry of 1, 9 is given here. So it will become 17. Now again 1 carry given here, 6 plus 5, 6, 11 and plus 1, 12 and 1 carry here, then 13, 6, 7, 8 and, it will, and 1 carry is 19. So here the sum is 9, 3, 7. 9,37,956. So what's the sum here? 9,37,956. Hope you all understand these examples here. Also another example is done for you. For your better understanding. Here also uh, places are given. 0, 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakhs and 10 lakhs. So it means... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 digit uh, addition is also given here. So starting from here, 4 plus 3, 7, 7 plus 1, 8, 5 plus 2, 7, 4 plus 3, 7, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2 plus 4, 6, and 6 plus 2, 8. So 86 lakhs, 87,787. These two are addendum and this is sum. Now we are moving towards exercise 2.1 that is on page number 11. Part A. Find the sum. Here you see 6 plus 1. This is a, a addition of 7 digit number and this is written in international way. So 7 digit in international way read as billion. Units, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand and then billion. Okay, because this, uh, these commas represent that this number is written in international way. So this eight read as million. Okay, six plus one, seven, five plus three, eight, three plus two, five. Then we put comma because first group is completed here. This group is completed here. Nine plus three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, two here, and one shift at the place of. 10,000, 8 plus 6, 14 plus 1, 15, 1 is shifting here of 5, 5 is written here, 1 is shifting here, so 7 plus 5, 12 and plus 1, 13, here 1 is shift at the place of million, 4 plus 3, 7 and 1 is 8, so 8 million, 352,587, these two are addendum or addenda and this is sum. So another example is done for you. Another question, number five. Starting from here, here three addendas are given. Starting from, start adding, uh, adding from here. Nine plus five is equal to 14 plus three, 17. Seven is written here and one is written here. Eight plus one, nine. Seven plus three, three, seven plus seven, eight and 10, 11, 12. So two is written here and one is shifted in thousand phase. Five plus two, seven plus three, 10 and one, uh, one carry is equal to 11. So one is written here and one shift, uh, another one is shift at the place of 10,000. This number is also given in the in international period. So nine plus two, 11 plus eight, 12 plus one, 11 plus 8, 19 and plus 1, 20. So 0 here and 2 here. 3 plus 2, 5 and adding to 7. So now move to the next at the place of million. 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. So it will read as 7. It is read as 7 million, 701,297. In this way, you will complete this exercise in your books by using pencil. If you want to take a screenshot of this, take it right now. You will complete this exercise in your books by using pencil. Hope you all understand this exercise. Put carry carefully.
okay and add also carefully don't do mistakes and if you have any confusion regarding this exercise you will ask me in chat box after the lesson and okay hope you all take a screenshot of it okay now moving to next part b write these addenda in vertical form then find the sum here what is vertical form means vertical form means this you will first of all place these numbers in this form this is vertical form then you add okay i've solved two questions for your understanding here you see on your screens if you want to take a screenshot of it you will take it okay write these addenda in vertical form then find the sum so here number 2 look at here 72 lakhs 25875 you know that this is written in pakistani period so you read it 72 lakhs 25875 add in 32 lakhs 37560 here you see this is written in vertical form okay so starting from the right 5 plus 0 is equal to 5 7 plus 6 is equal to 13 plus 1 here 8 plus 5 is equal to 13 plus 1 14 4 comes carry comes here 7 plus 5 13 3 comes here and 1 at the place of 2 3 plus 2 5 plus 1 6 2 plus 2 4 and 7 plus 3 10 okay these are addenda and this is sum now move to the next now this is question number 7 here you see question number 7 this is written in the international period so here you write in international form first of all seven digit number then six digit number and then five digit number is that clear first of all you have in vertical form and questions are given in this form first of all you pick seven digit number then six or five then six digit number and then five digit number okay Look at here. Six plus six, twelve plus two, fourteen. So four here and ones comes at the place of tens. Three plus three, six, and plus six, twelve plus one, thirteen. Three here and one carry here. <clears throat> Eight plus five, thirteen plus two, fifteen, and one here, sixteen. So one carry here. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Nine plus five, fourteen, and plus one. 15 so uh, carry of one shift carry of uh, 15 shift here 5 plus 3 8 plus 1 9 4 plus 0 obviously 4 and 3 as it is because there is no digit given under uh, given uh, given for 3 so in this is written in international way international way seven digit red as 3 millions 495000 Six hundred and thirty-four. Hope you all understand this exercise. If you want to take a screenshot of this slide, take it right now. This is just for your understanding. Hope you all understand this. If you have any question regarding this part, you will ask me in end. Okay. So these. This exercise, all these questions, okay, including both both of two, these you will do in your fair copy by using pen in proper way. First of all, you have to left one. Uh, first of all, you have to make title page, then left one page, and then start this part B. Is that clear? Do it in proper way. Now we are moving. to subtraction hope you all the terms of addition hope you all the terms of addition now we're moving to subtraction there is example given for you subtract 2 4 6 5 8 from 8 7 9 8 9 8 so starting from here 0 10 100 1000 10000 and legs so it will represent as it given it Pakistani period. So starting from here, always add add or subtract from this side. Eight subtract from seven. Seven subtract from eight, so it will become one. Nine from eight, one. 
8 from 5, 3. 9 from 6, 3. 7 from 4, 3. And 8 from 2, 6. So it will read as 6 lakhs 33,311. And this way you will subtract questions here. Another example is given from given for you. That is from your book. Okay. Look into your books, page number 10 also. And here, slide on your slides. Example number three from your book. So, first of all, what you have to understand that minute means quantity or a number from which the other number subtrahend is to be subtracted. What is minute means? The number, the number from which the other number that is subtrahend is to be subtracted. From this number, this number is subtracted and when we subtract minute and when we uh, uh, subtract subtract from minute, the answer that comes is called difference. Okay, in addition, this answer is called sum and these two are called addendums. But in subtraction, the minute is a number from which the other number subtrahend. Subtrahend is subtracted from minute. So, subtrahend, when minute is uh, subtracted from subtrahend, the answer, the left is called difference. Okay, so starting from here, when 1 is subtracted from 0, it will become 1, 5 from 3, 2. 0 from 9? No. So what you have to do here, one upper digit is smaller than a lower digit. Then what you have to do, you take borrow from another digit. So here you take borrow from 6. 6 gave one borrow, one borrow to it. So it will become 5. It will become 10. So 10 from 9? 1. Put comma here. Then 5 from 5? 0. Because 1 is given to 0. So it will become 6 will become 5. So now move to next. Uh, do we subtract 5 from 6? No, because 5 is smaller than 6. So what you have to do, you will take borrow from another number. Another number is 2. When 2 give 1, 1 borrow to 5, it will become 1. So it will become 15. 15 from 6, 9. And 1 from 1, 0. So 0 is not written here. It is not necessary to write 0 here. In this way, you will do subtraction. Here, example number four, also from your books, page number 11. Find the difference when the minute is 80 lakh 72,398 and the subtrahend is 52 lakh 61,543. So, starting from first of all, you have to place it in, uh, in vertical form. First of all, write this digit because this is bigger. Here, uh, you bigger digit, right? And then smaller, that is 52 lakhs. So, starting from here, 8 from 3 is equal to 5. 8 from 3 is equal to 5. Then, 9 from 4, 5. 3 from, uh, is 3 subtracted from 5? No, because 3 is smaller than 5. Then what you have to do here? We'll take borrow from another digit. Another digit is 2. So when 2 gives 1 borrow to 3, then it will become 13 and it will become 1. Because 2 gives 1 borrow to 3, so it will become 1. So 13 from 5, 8. 1 from 1, 0. 7 from 6, 1. Here, 0... Uh, is 0 subtract from 2? No, because 0 is smaller than 2. So you take you take 1 borrow from 8. 8 will become 7 and it will become 10. So 10 minus 2, 8. And 7 minus 5, 2. And this way you will solve these questions. So it is read as 28 lakhs 10,855. This is minute and this is subtrahend and this is difference. Now we are moving to part C. Also look into your books, page number 12 of part C. <clears throat> so you also solve this part in your books by using pencil, proper pointed pencils. Okay, do your work neat and clean, whether in your books or whether in your copies. In your copies you use pen and in your books you use pencil. So here we move to next slide. I've solved one or two questions for your understanding. Number two. Here you see number two. 
that is written in international period 5 million 647,329 and 4 million 538,142. So addition, whether it's addition or whether it is subtraction, you always start from here. So 9 from 2, 7. Here 2 is smaller than 4. You take borrow from another number. When 3, you give borrow 2, 2, it will become 12. And 3 will become 2. So 12 from 4, 8. 2 from 1, 1. 7 <coughs> from 8 will not subtract it because 7 is smaller than 8. Then we take borrow from here. So when 4 give borrow to 1, it will become 17. And it will become 3. 17 from 8, 9. 3 from 3, 0. 6 from 5, 1. And 5 from 4, 1. So your answer is 1,109,000. 187. This is minute, this is different, and this is sum. Always remember that if upper digit is smaller, then you always take borrow from another digit. Upper digit, if upper digit is smaller, then it will not subtract from the lower bigger digit. You must have take borrow from another digit. Okay. Is there any problem, any confusion in exercise 2.1? Part A, Part B, Part C. If you have any question, any problem, then you will ask me in chat box. Okay. If you want that I repeat, that I will repeat it again. First of all, you have to write digits, uh, uh, write numbers in this way. This is minute. This is subtract, and this is difference. I already tell you that minute means a number. From which the subtrend that this is subtrend is subtracted. Okay, and this is difference. The number that is left by uh, subtracting these two is called difference. So here you see 9 minus 2, 7. 2 is smaller than 4. Then I already tell you that if upper digit is smaller or minute is smaller, then you will take borrow from next digit. Next digit is 3 here. So you give one borrow to here, it will become 12. 12 from 4, 8. 2 minus 1, 1. Put comma here because this represents an international period. 7 is smaller than 8. You take borrow from 4. It will become 3 and it will become 17. 17 from 8, 9. 3 from 3, 0. Okay. Clear. 6 from 5, 1. And 5 minus 4 is 1. It read as 1,109,187. 1, Hope you all understand these questions. Okay, if you have any question regarding subtraction, you will ask me. I am uh, repeating again. Addition question here you see, I already told you that when you do this exercise, that is part B, when you write it in vertical form, first of all, see if there is three addendas are given or two addendas. First of all, you have to see seven digit number, then six, and then five. Here, number seven is solved for you. So First of all, you have to pick seven digit number, then six, and then five. Here you see in this way. Six plus six, 12, plus two, 14. Four comes here and one shift at the place of tens. Three plus three, six, and six plus six, 12, plus one, 13. Eight plus five, 13, plus two, 15, and one carry that comes from here is equal to 16. Now, the one of six shift towards Thousand nine plus five fourteen and plus one fifteen here for one of five shift here the place of ten thousand five plus three eight and plus one nine four plus zero four and three this is sum and these are addendums now I'm going to share home task with you exercise two point one part A in your book with pencil. Exercise 2.1 Part B in your fair copy by using pen and Exercise 2.1 Part C in your book by using pencil.